were supposed to be enemies there, but they're not. God damn it. We, Colbert needs to fight things on his own. He is I completely mean, prepared for everything. If you want to, I can throw him back in there. <laughs> but right now they're going up to the meeting. Oh, yeah, that, that makes sense. That's awesome. Cool. I'm, I'm ex just waiting for the, like, butt fuckery that is that final room. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy moly. I'm just going to cast glitter dust and everything you, will go to you guys, you guys get up there and you s see a bunch of cultists turn to you. And then, Hi. The, then does Simon say, hey, guys, and then he gets stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's that's where right. you find out that all of them have a prepared action to stab Samuel. <laughs> well, 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 it's like it's like oh, Simon's friends with those intruders. That like, guy's friends with those intruders. Skill him. I mean, if if you, I mean, I would give like Samuel at least like a even hard DC like bluff check. Oh, I forgot to mention, I brought new recruits. <laughs> Anyways, it's test. I, I am Oren, the best recruit. <laughs> test. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. What is yes. it? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Now we can hear you. Your turn. Yeah. Sure. Like, I go away from what half a second because I went to grab a, like an apple and you all suddenly turn to me. Anyway, I go in. Like, test. Oren. What do you see? Or, or and including 30 other people that just appeared in this room are staring at you. You blink and I, the 30 people are gone. I was... I, God damn it, Oren is also gone. God damn it, the curse! <laughs> <laughs> no, Oren is gone, the 30 people are oh here. My God. <laughs> the curse strikes again. Ooh. Anyway, I start slithering up the stairs to see if I can see anything. Fucking, okay, he turns into a snake. What is this world? <laughs> <laughs> little, 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 you you little. end up on the first story. Yeah. Isn't this like the second story we play with you? Yes. Mm. Yes, it is. It is the second story, but <laughs> it's apparently using English. True. Yeah. Remember, anyway. stairs is difficult British. to win. Yeah. Yes. I no, love that. I that's moved. Because that's some kind and of cool So 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 you want to know what Simon Samuel can charge upstairs. I know. <laughs> yeah. He can run. He can charge downstairs, away from all the enemies. Suckers. Cast. Roll me perception. Yeah. Sure. No. What? No. You hear footsteps above you, as you're walking up the stairs. Coming up or down? Up. They're going up. Okay. Up, down, I, left, like, right. Look down, like, like, get the get over here, you know, with my hand towards Orion. Just like, like there are people going, like there's ceiling, like a ceiling above you, and it's most likely stairs, and there are people walking up it. Yeah. I and forgot. Like, holy shit, my base strength is stupid. Yeah, I know. You could probably lift a lot. <laughs> I forgot anyway. that. Like, the building. I'm I'm so used to having cruddy stats. But when I look at Orin's sheet, I forgot that his base. Strength is 20. Mm. Jesus. God damn it. God damn it. What have you been putting your uh, inherent bonuses into? I think you only get the one at 4th level. but there's the Yeah, there's the one at 4th level. I had a 17 in strength. I put that in... Uh, 17 in strength. I put the inherent bonus in strength. And then my race gives plus 2 strength. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I figured race was give you the bonus. I was just wondering where the mm -hmm. inherit came, like, where it went. But okay. Yeah. And anyway, uh, yeah. That's my turn. I am mm. also for keep. I keep fucking forgetting Samuel. that I have the animal focus. Yeah. Technically, it should be twice. The the crowd kind of pushes you, so that there's going to be more room for people. All right. As more people come up the stairs. God damn it. No, oh, start. You can move there if you want. I uh, want to clear a uh, shop towards the uh, drop over here. You won't have one. Damn it. These are all guys that are coming up the stairs. 
hottest meeting time. Gentlemen, what's our situation? Excellent, we are surrounded from all sides. Perfect, <laughs> I can hit in all directions. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Wow, Samuel, you you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> but see, they all think Samuel's one of them. So. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna print screen this, and I'm gonna send this to another group saying the epitome of fucked. <laughs> 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 At least tell them that those aren't actually shadows, but you you don't have to say that. If no, you don't no, want no, to. I'm not going to. <laughs> but mainly because one of the players that I played in a game with got just completely destroyed by shadows. Just not even funny. Like he was just he the the shadow rolled a six on their first attack, to uh, six on the first attack to say like hey fuck you I'm draining your health, and then um, I'm draining your health and then the next shadow came around rolled another six and the person just died. Oh, amazing. Orin. <laughs> All right. It's just fucking amazing. Have fun, Samuel. Um, <laughs> one, two, three, four, ten, forty. Move to the next floor. As I'm moving, I'm pulling out a. Uh, I'm pulling out my mutagen as a standard. I'm drinking it. I wonder if anyone noticed anything about color schemes. Everything is dead. Colbert. Yeah, I'm moving then here. Then that's 20, 30, 40. So double move, that's all I'm doing. Cast. Cast! Um, uh, I'm, I'm waiting for Orin. Orin's behind you. Yeah. I'm just gonna let go after him. Mm. Or to be fair, can I just Are you delay till after Orin's turn? Can I just like prepare an action to walk after Orin? Hmm. I guess. You just go investigate the room and have him go past you. Yeah, I mean, there could be cultists everywhere, and I'd kind of stick together with him. Mm. That's fair. Samuel! Yes? The door in front of the group of cultists opens up, and Pseudo walks out. But it's not <laughs> actually Pseudo. <laughs> It is someone you recognize, however. He better not fucking be. I killed that fucker already. <laughs> it is, however, someone you recognize. Remember what I said about matching color schemes? Dum dum hmm? dum. Dum dum oh. dum. Well, it is that fun. guy. Eh? Called it! Mm. I don't see anything different from now. Uh, it's just this iron briar. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I mean, when I was discussing with Sheriff in Sandpoint, I called it that it would suck if, like, had somebody important in city was on cultist payroll. Oh. <laughs> no, well, technically he's not on the cultist payroll. No, he is he's the one. The he's the one paying them. them. Mm. Exactly. <laughs> Motherfucker, you are dead. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you good luck. I salute you, my friend. <laughs> he doesn't recognize you, however. Oh. Because you were wearing a mask and outfit. Oh. I mean, I said that to Justice <laughs> out of character, that when oh. we get there, <laughs> we're gonna make sure that, yeah. Hey, the mask. Against how many cultists, Simon? No, and fucking many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 15, 16, and Justice. You know what the best part is? Yeah. I'm not sure if I should tell you this. Oh, don't. Don't tell okay. us. Mm, we'll, we'll find it out in a horrible way sooner or later. The cultists are all minions. Oh, the cultists are all level sixes. Yeah. No, they're level three. Well, tell us this thing, these things. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the levels that we have is hilarious. Oh, no. And they all have... War razors, which you recognize for that. I just uh, imagine. Orin had one of those. I just imagine me and Orin coming up, me casting glitter dust on Samuel and the cultists, and everything just going to hell. <laughs> I don't know that Samuel is with the cultists, to be honest, because yeah, we never saw him change. Uh, hang on, dust glitter dust. 
work when you have a mask on. Yeah. I mean, if the DM says no, then sure, but... It's magic! Morin, what's your will save? Do I need to make one? No, not yet. Alright, plus three. Sixteen. There's six... There's fifteen of them and the boss. It's gonna be a lot of will saves, isn't it? <laughs> They all have command. I'll tell you Can't that much. <laughs> oh my fucking god. And probably for protection from I mean, I mean, command is literally in Pathfinder one of the worst fucking spells. It's so bad. It is Warren. so bad. Yes. It's your turn. Like like right. bad like shitty spell or bad like Yeah, shitty spell. Because you yeah. can't it's it doesn't actually work as in 3.5 and uh, second edition where you can just say a word like shit and they have to do it. It's you have to pick between four or five words. It's so like approach, retreat, uh, fall to the floor, uh, drop whatever you're holding in your hand, mm -hmm. or just yeah, it's so bad. It's like worse. like the the like higher ones like stun, paralyze, and death obviously were higher level spells. Yeah. But just command in itself. Twenty. Twenty. But it is a level one spell, so. Yeah. Thirty. Forty. Moving up the staircase. Okay. Test. Following. Actually, I have double movement, so. And <laughs> <honey>. <laughs> That's pretty much exactly what you're Wait doing. Wait by the foot of the staircase. Forecast. And as actually, uh, no, I don't. I do something else. I pull out my extract of shield and I chug it. Okay. I'm standing behind him, so... Are you being stealthy going up the stairs? Yes. <laughs> as stealthy as we can be. Uh, I rolled a stealth check before. It was a 10. If you want me to re-roll, that's fine. That's fine. Let me see what the perceptions are. Probably high enough. <laughs> Roll 16 perception. 19. I mean, it, we're still quite far away from them, and there's a lot of them, so there's probably a lot of sound while they're there. They're being quiet, because their leader's about to speak. Ah, uh, that's true. The first one hears you. Yeah. <laughs> As you're going up the second story. But does he do anything, or is he just going to sit quiet and hope it's just somebody who's late? There's like a, yeah, there's like a creak on the staircase. I'm making sound, but it's not... He's not shouting, Orin's here! Two. I, Three. Orin, have arrived. <laughs> Let's see what they do. Wow, that's a lot of... They literally <laughs> cannot fail to notice me. Stop rolling. <laughs> Everyone at the same time notices me. And <laughs> Kess as well, because Kess never... Oh, Kess actually did. Holy shit. Nice, Kess. Mm. But, yes, yeah. they notice me. The leader... I'll, I'll roll for the leader, then, because yep. the leaders might be different. Plus 20. And what? He's actually... Actually, better. there is... Oh, shit. If we do the bullshit rules that Pathfinder has, um, which is every 10 feet, it's a minus fucking 1, which is bullshit, and I hate the rule. I don't think I've... I don't think we've ever done that rule. I hate that yeah. rule with a fiery That's passion. Not... I, I would say if you were, like, trying to hear someone, like... From like sixty feet away, maybe, but I mean yeah. not even sixty feet. But like if you were trying to hear someone from like a mile away, it'd be like I just look at you, shake your head and cry. Mm. Um, but yeah, like minus one is like I don't do that to you guys. So I don't think the animation should, should happen to yeah. them. Exactly. Like, there's just certain things like I don't do it to you, so you shouldn't make me do it to the enemy. Unless you really want to start doing that too. No, no, no. It's just waste time it's, every time. I'm in another campaign where someone does those rules, and I hate them so much because basically what it forces it forces every person to make a perception check every ten feet. That's basically what it forces, which is bullshit, and I hate it. So please don't start using them. <laughs> I won't. Thank you. I do, however, have to let the dog out because she's whining and has to use the bathroom, so. 
Mm. I might as well move that's my character the... because my turn won't be yeah. too hard. And, and that's why I am playing in the living room, is so I can watch this. 13... Last week someone shit on the floor. And no, not even the back. dog, and just 40. people blame the dog. So I'm like here. Yeah. I, I, I figured it was them and just cleaned it up. Wow, it took Could've me just cat. two turns to get from Undermill to ground fall. <laughs> Don't worry guys, I'll be there like uh, five turns. <laughs> I'll be there next century. <laughs> you can just start double moving or like running. Um, I mean, this turn I can run like 60 feet. So I get mm -hmm. one turn here. <laughs> yeah. So one turn here. She is so still on the first floor. 20. Yeah. The stairs will be the hardest. Or sorry, yeah. not even on the first floor. I I I like full plate and like the heaviest armors, but the movement speed decreases. This is Just... not even full plate. This is breastplate. This is medium armor. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Well, I'll be terrified of you once you actually start getting full plate. <laughs> Well, he has ten movement speed every turn. We'll be waiting oh, here for a century. Minimum. That would be terrible. <laughs> Fucking get Maybe them late. Maybe not ten, but I'm pretty sure like the stone plate reduces basic movement speed to fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah, and then if you have the lame curse of the uh, the oracle, you move five feet per round. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be doing that. That's literally one, two squares a turn. <laughs> it's I run. All right, I run. How fast do you go? Fifteen feet per turn. What? Fucking <laughs> bug. <laughs> okay, I did my you turn. Can... We're talking. At this point, what you should do, you should just make a build that has absolutely zero feet per round movement. <laughs> and uh, it's possible. Yeah, you can also be tiny, which I think decreases your move speed, so now you're like 0 0.05 feet per round. Well, if you wear armor, the smaller you get, it, the less it decreases your speed, and if you're a dwarf, it doesn't decrease your speed at all, actually, because yeah. dwarves are awesome. But we were yeah. talking about the fact that stone plate reduces it to 15 feet hey, wait, per turn, and if you then like... take the lame curse for the oracle, your movement speed becomes an effective 5 feet per round. Yeah, that That's was hilarious. Also like... Yeah. Like, a, a, what's the name again? You can like a template that decrease that like tiny that decreases your move speed even more. Oh god! Like. Yeah, but let us move on. Yeah, let's keep going. So what happened? You, you really have to be carried around. Yeah. Movement speed negative five. I really want to make a fairy character and ride on somebody's shoulder. Mm. All I want to do at one point. I've done it one before, once before in a D&D 3.5 game. The DM hated me. I made a butt pixie. A butt pixie? A butt pixie. There is uh, a skill in D&D 3.5 that basically allows you to move into tight spaces. Oh my god, if you, you did that. It, this is like story yes. for, from fucking 4 mm -hmm. Yeah, if you, if you get it high enough, if you get it high enough, you can, uh, as a small creature, you can technically... Uh, you can technically squeeze into someone's ass, and Why then would you do them that? Inside with, I made myself fire immune. I hit their touch. I managed to somehow get into their pants and then destroyed them with fireballs from the inside. Oh my <laughs> fucking god! It's fire hilarious. Bar. It was a, it was for a one shot, and everyone made the stupidest characters they f could think of. So I was the butt pixie. We had someone who was literally moving negative move speed. <laughs> um, we had we, we had someone who was moving negative move speed, which the DM said. This right. be the opposite of pun pun. Yeah. Yes, no, it's the opposite of pun pun. We were all gimmicks, like terrible <laughs> gimmicks that would never work in any normal game, but in this game it would because we're all gimmicky. There was mm -hmm. someone who, um, mm -hmm. someone who did like the, the the negative movement speed. He had like a negative movement speed of twenty. <laughs> so it so was amazing. How does that work? Um, what the DM said is, all right, you, you moonwalk everywhere. Uh, <laughs> you have no other mo mode of transportation other than moonwalk. 
And he actually said, he himself said, all right, so if I get on a horse, I have to get back, I have, I have to sit the other way around on the horse, because if I sit normally, the fact that I can't actually move normally, normal, like, I always have to moonwalk everywhere and move, like, backwards, I actually get sick, and I start taking the sick and penalty. I'm like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> that would be a fun one shot to play. Yes, it was. Yeah, it was something up like we that. Had, um, we had a barbarian who had, who was basically an abomination. He was a human. Make a, bar make a barbarian with like seven constitution. No, he was a barbarian with I think like twenty constitution and uh, eight in every other stat. And he had a shit ton of life points. And he also had about 19 arms, 6 feet or something, and like 3 heads. It was hilarious. Okay. <laughs> and yes, and he, and, but he couldn't hit shit. His damage was crap. But the dragon we were fighting could not bring him down for the life of him. Because <laughs> his life points were too high. <laughs> and we all we were like 4 of us. I don't remember what the last guy did, but we all had our stupid gimmicks. And we all died in a blaze of glory because the the story was we're misfits that were kicked out of a town. They're like, all right, fuck it, we're taking, we're subjugating this town, and the town fights back. And we all died in our own blaze of glory. It was amazing. That would be <laughs> awesome. So yeah, the dragon, yeah, yeah. So before the town, they had uh, a pet dragon. We were all we were level thirteen, but the DM knew like, all right, so you guys are weak as shit. At least most of you are. He kept note of that, and he tossed like a CR8 dragon in there. We had so much difficulty with that dragon; it was hilarious. Well, like I just, like, I can just imagine, like, you pick one thing, one not overpowered thing to focus on. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, I, I am, I am like, I can hit everything. How much damage do you deal? One. Yeah. One. <laughs> one. <laughs> one. <laughs> it's like, how many attacks around do you have? Two. How much damage do you deal? 1d2. What? <laughs> 1d2 minus 2? <laughs> oh you you literally deal 2 non lethal damage around. Uh, Anyways, let us. Yes. Let us continue. I would love to play that if anybody deals. It so, does. Samuel, <laughs> like, Hester, do you do something? No, I'm following. Okay. Samuel, uh, your turn. All They all. Start rolling initiative. Do you all want them to have their own initiative or act at the same time? I. Everyone. Here's the thing: Do they turn around or do they keep watch on that guy, hoping everything just fine? Well, the main main guy is about to talk, and one of them pipes up. It's like I think someone's late. Then they all look around. Yeah, and I think if I you think hear that, we're just gonna stand still and not do anything. Me and Orin. Yeah. <laughs> And everybody looks at that guy who was like, somebody's late, like, what the fuck are you talking about, mate? <laughs> yeah, I was like, the other guy next to him, I think I heard something too, and the other guy next to him says, may, this may sound crazy, but I think I heard something too. <laughs> because they all were fucking awesome on their perceptions. Be fair, yeah, they, uh, if, if you give all the cultists the same initiative, then if they go, if God, they turn please, on... please, no. Yeah, if they turn on Samuel, <laughs> he's dead, so maybe not, yeah, even though yeah. it will be more True. problematic. Oh my god, that would be so, terrible. So, <laughs> I'm going to move Samuel here. Yeah. So I can do this. Do what? Not add Samuel a second time. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, so many. <laughs> I mean, this should be pretty easy. Just make a macro for it. I'm just going to roll... 15 d20s and then add it. I mean, a macro would probably be easier, but sure. Mm. Maybe not quicker, because even though if you do a macro with tracker, which is pretty easy, you still need to click on a token, roll initiative, then click on the token, roll initiative. No, I mean, click, 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 is probably faster than clicking, writing the number, clicking, pressing enter, pressing the next one, writing the number, pressing enter. There's some ones in there, and it's plus seven. Damn. Everybody wow. and their mother has improved initiative. 
especially the mother. The plus seven initiative. That's, that's just Paizo. Everything has improved initiative. If you don't have improved initiative, you're doing something wrong. Yeah, that's why I took it. <laughs> because I knew that. I knew they had. They fucking had that. Even most, of the, probably most of the stuff that we fought with Eternal Wanderer still had it because he was probably just pulling them off the monster list. <laughs> Pathfinder OGC, a lot of them had it, true. And I think even if I, when I created the NPCs for uh, the main bad guys for uh, Genkiro, I also like, yeah, yeah, improve initiative. Improved everyone. initiative for everybody. This is gonna feel like a circle jerk, isn't it? There was a small yep. hope that one was rolled by a boss, but by a leader, but I don't think so. Not yet. He hasn't rolled as yet. Ooh, right, because he probably Ooh. has a different. <sighs> Justice Ardenbriar. I mean, this is this might very well be the end of us, to be honest. Nah, we'll be fine. Sure. Mhm. Mm Would I throw them all at you if I thought it was gonna kill you? Yes. Yeah. To be fair, I mean, they I think are, I... they are level threes, and if we fight smartly, they will not be able. Like Samuel is a shit place, but there are a lot of corridors, so we can a lot of choke points. I think our best bet is if you stand here or in or there, and then we just take them one by one when they come down the stairs. Nah, that's not my the style, stairs? man. Yeah, that, I mean, that's not my style. If they don't come down the stairs, then why the fuck would we care? Because they have Samuel? <laughs> we don't care, but no, I mean, why would they attack <laughs> Samuel? <laughs> Which they don't know about yet, unless it turns out justice, justice has some sort of detection spell or whatever. Yeah. Well... Detect non-believer. I read somewhere about making him an Inquisitor, but I didn't do that, so... <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Samuel. He's an Inquisitor now. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm a cultist. Detect lie. Which, if you're an Inquisitor, you don't even get a saving throw for that. He just nope. knows you're lying. <laughs> yeah. Without <laughs> special effects, yeah. He, he just knows. Like, Inquisitor mm -hmm. is a game-breaker for any investigation game. I'm just like, yeah, I know you're lying. That, 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 that's when you start saying master spies and vigilantes and stuff that at people. And yeah. speak with that, but speak with that is also easy, easily counter able. Mm, Just I mean, cut their tongues, boring. break their jaw. Plus seven. I mean, it gets kind of boring when everybody's killed in the same fucking way, but you know. Mm. It's like, everyone's killed in the same way because they understand speak with dead. Anyway, technically so, only those guys at the first lumber mill were killed that way. No one else was. Anyway, yeah, what so what happened? Leader, there? His so, so his his initiative, it's actually plus six. <laughs> yes, almost the same initiative as his underlings. So should we stop for tonight then continue this next time? Probably. Or? Yeah, this is gonna be one hell of a fight, I think. Yeah. So. Should we start like an hour earlier or something for because Simon has to go wake up early? I can. I thought there was a problem with that though, so I wasn't I sure. Can. I think Not it was me. because of the Pake. Not me. I think Pake, Pake was no. free though. Yeah. So I thought the worry free? I thought the worry was because of Martin. Yeah. Uh, so Yeah, it was okay? before, but now it's I don't have classes anymore, so I'm fine. Okay. Okay. Right. What, is even two hours okay, or is that too much? Four uh, two hours. Usually when I wake up, so... Oh, <laughs> okay, one hour. Yeah, okay. one hour should be more than enough. Yeah, enough. If it's not, then we can try to go to two, but... Yeah, All right. we'll try. See, because mm -hmm. I used to play with you guys at noon. Now I've <laughs> moved three hours west. <laughs> now that's a trouble, then. Yeah, and I'm guessing um, it probably will be simpler that we don't get XP for this session. We're gonna get after a fight, assuming we yeah. survive. Yeah, we haven't killed anything yet. You don't have any experience to get. Yeah, besides we didn't kill. Although, 
A the good adventure should not give XP only for killing stuff, but also for just overcoming changes in plot. But whatever. also for torture. You haven't overcome part. anything in the plot. Samuel for successfully climbing the stair. No, no, no. Colbert for successfully climbing the stairs. You get five XP. Mm, that's pretty much the, the hardest thing with this entire campaign. <laughs> like, like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess I haven't really done anything yet this time. Yeah, but, yeah, I know. I'm just like. Here, here I, 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 I can tell you this much. Each cultist is about 600 experience each. There's a small boss chance. Guy, there's a small chance we might be able to level up after this. Boss time, guy is 3,200. Oh wow, that's a lot. All right, that's 3,200 plus 3,200 divided by four. That everyone gets 3,050. Jesus. At the end of this. At the end of this fight. Which alone. I think might be enough. No, it so won't. Twenty-one thousand. So you yeah. guys are what level six right now? Yeah, we have yeah. twenty-one thousand. If you want to check this something. Fight. Yeah, we need for level seven. We need twenty-three thousand. I don't think we're gonna level. But yeah, I'm. I'm you guys. I'm, yeah. uh, let's see. We need eight thousand more exp. Next level, level, I'm taking fucking iron will. <laughs> <laughs> Get that you should thing. be close to 8th level at the conclusion of this chapter, so... Oh, well, shit. <laughs> That's what it says. It actually says that you should reach 7th level soon after they reach Magnamar. <laughs> but you guys are a bit behind in experience, actually, because there's was 5 of you, now there's 4 of yep. you. Yep. Mm -hmm. We're probably screwed, but it'll be fun. No, mm -hmm. we're fine. We're all munchkins. We'll be fine. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, about... I really want to tell you guys, but it might be a bit of a spoiler. No, say nothing. Mm. I'm, I, I'm only I'll curious, if by some strange miracle and dice got fucking us over, I remember when you said, like, if there's a TPK, I asked you, like, what would happen, and then you said, like... I do have an idea. Yeah, is, if this is still on, then I'm fine. You don't need to say anything. I, I do still have a possibility. That may work. Pig comes back. He's like, hey. And then gets just butt fucked and dies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, yeah, Pig, you died in a heroic death like you want. <laughs> Pig, Pig, Pig walks in and is like, oh shit. I mean, personally, as long as I at one point, as, as long as I don't get overwhelmed, I should at least be fine, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I. I think I can help you somewhat by uh, uh, creating a choke point on the stairs. If you can get to the stairs. Yeah, I was just yeah. about to say, you're kind of in the middle and you might be eaten by me because you are looking like a cultist. Well, there will be a time to dis discard, discard the guys. Yeah, it's like, first, guy, first round, I walk up there, it's like, I walk there, walk there, I bite this person. It's like... Samuel sees this opportunity, takes off his mask, and starts punching the cultists around him. All the cultists just stare at him with a blank stare, and then just maul him to death. It was me. Kess <laughs> walks out and blinds, and cast glitter. Just only Samuel is blinded. Everyone else. Just <laughs> <laughs> like everyone passes, but Samuel. Everyone else passes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It's like at this like, point, you guys. At this point, Samuel's like wondering if like you guys just followed him because he thought that you were he was betraying you guys. <laughs> or at this point, it's like. Uh, or at this point, it's it's just going to be like we we pick up. It's me, Samuel. Samuel, you betrayed us. And Orin is like, "Fuck you! <laughs> Why?" <laughs> I guess totally imagine all the folks trying, trying to protect like, Samuel from us. <laughs> So, by the way, I mean, I'm assuming all of us can play next week, or... Yeah, I should be able to. Yeah, it should be. Boy, can I play. Well, it depends. If No Man's Sky eats my soul, then I might not be able to. <laughs> God, I can't wait for the night, and that probably sounds really weird to all of you guys. 